Welcome. Three days a week, I do The Dollar Is Dead, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And on Fridays, we talk about how to preserve wealth. But on Mondays and Wednesdays, we point out things going on in the economy so you can keep an eye on them. Are interest rates up? Are they down? To help you get out of debt, take control of your financial future. Because as I always say, the government does not care about you. Banks particularly don't care about you. It's up to you to take control of your finances because real freedom is financial freedom. We're going to talk about something that mainstream media isn't talking about. Look at this Google search just recently about layoffs. Look at these four top stories right here. It was two days ago. Actually, this was a couple days ago when I took this. It's a screenshot. Cisco lays off. These are tech jobs. T job cuts worsen in the Bay Area. That was two days ago. Um, another two days ago, Wells Fargo cost cutting spurs hundreds of layoffs for the bank. That's a bank. That's a tech company. These are good jobs. Paramount laid off 15% of their U.S. employees. Good jobs. Here's a heartbreaking one. Texas Children's Hospital laid off 997, almost 1,000 employees in recent job cuts. Those are just some of the job cuts recently. Take a look at this one. This is Dell. Says they fired the way they wrote this story. I shouldn't, I'm not laughing. It's just instead of saying job cuts, they said they fired. Same thing, right? Job cuts, firings. 12,500 employees. Now, if you take a look at this, layoffs.fyi, they track job cuts within just the tech sector. It goes back to March of 2023. Here we are last month, August of 24, 27,000 employees laid off just in the month of August last month. And that was across 44 different companies. These are tech companies. And you can see here at the top, 422, 422 tech companies laid off people. This is in 2024, just January through August. And they laid off 136,782 people in tech companies, which we have to assume are well-paying jobs. Those people, you know, trickle down. They've got to have dry cleaning. They've got to make house payments, car payments, get car maintenance done, buy food, buy groceries, go to restaurants, restaurants, go out to the movies, whatever they do. They're not going to be doing it because they all lost their jobs. You're not hearing about this in the mainstream media. Why am I pointing this out? Well, if you've paid attention to the Fed this month in September, they say might lower rates. If you look at 10 year and two year treasuries, we look at that every Friday. They've been inverted for a while, which says we are in or were in or going into a recession. That's not good. There are economic signs that don't look great. There are economic signs that look okay. But you're not hearing about this, but you need to know it because you need to prepare. None of what I said is to worry you. It's to help you prepare. If you go to my videos on my page, please do subscribe. Then you'll see the various playlists and the videos. I've got many videos on how to create your emergency fund in case you are unfortunate enough or someone in your household to lose a job in an income stream. It helps you create and understand how to put together an emergency fund and then how to also make it last as long as possible. I have multiple videos on how to help you get out of debt because I truly believe that if you take control of your finances and you have a plan, you will no longer have to worry because you'll know that you've got a plan to implement if things go bad for you. We don't know what the end of 2024 holds. We don't know what the end of what 2025 holds. Could be great times, could be bad times, but even in bad times and even in good times, people lose their jobs. It happens a lot. So be prepared. Please do take a look at those videos. I'll put some links down below to the videos specifically to help you create emergency funds and how to make them last. I hope that's helpful. Always appreciate a like so we can get that this out to more people. I like to help people get out of debt and take control of their finances because as I said before, real freedom is financial freedom. Have a great day.